uh, no music, son, because then if a sale says. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, and then Galatians, then Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6. Says. All of it? Uh, it starts with children and parents, I think. What's the name of it? Deberas filiales. Filiales. Deberes? Hijos obedezcan en el Señor. Obedezcan? Sus... Obedezcan. <laughs> obedezcan en el Señor a sus padres. A sus padres. Porque esto es justo. Honra a tu padre y, tu, y a tu mamá, madre, que es el primera, el primer, primer mandamiento con promesa, para que te vaya bien y disfrutas de una larga vida en la tierra. Y ustedes padres no hagan enojar a sus hijos, sino críenlos según la disciplina y a instruction there Muy bien. About uh, those next two paragraphs which slaves and masters. Um, which one? Well, before you continue, what, what did you read? That what does it say? The parents have can't let the children get mad. Parents. Okay, read it in English for me. Here. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment, with a promise, that it, it may go well with you, and that you may enjoy long life on the earth. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. All right. What am I supposed to teach you? As a father? Training and instruction of the Lord. I was supposed to train you in the Bible, all right? Capish? Yeah. All right. Honor your father. Now, my father, my I saw him five times. He had a father, but his father died when he was only eight years old. So, in my opinion, that's what made him decide to be an a narcissist, a selfish man. Also, he was an only child. You know the difference between an only child and those that have brothers and sisters? Only child, sir. They tend to be spoiled. Yes. Now, at the same time in his life, his mother constantly sent him money. Why? Because she married a rich man. Of course, that's all, how do you describe that? Because she was collecting cans in New York. Soda cans? Yeah. Her apartment was full of cockroaches. All right? Then why would she send money to her son? Some women or parents are that way. However, what did he teach me one time when I was walking in the street and he was walking towards me? Mm -hmm. He said, there was a rich man and he told his son look at all these books in this library in one year I want you to tell me what business you want to go into so that I can let you be the president of that division of, of my companies all right so at the end of the year the father asked him and the young man said father 
I have read the books and I loved one in particular. Which one? The Bible. Uh -huh. So you're not going to do any business? No, Father, I'm going to be a missionary. I will go help other people. How will you live without money? And then the, I will not give you any money. That's all right, Father. The birds of the air, they live without any money. And God provides for them. By telling me that story, my father actually pointed me to reading the Bible, even though I didn't start until officially uh, at age 41, in January this past year. What does all of this mean? If your parents don't teach you about the Bible, they're not doing their duty. But that doesn't mean you can't have another job while you do this. That's true. And my mother, at nine years old, I wanted to, she wanted to hang a picture on the wall. I grabbed the hammer, I grabbed the nail, and she said, No, you will destroy the house. You are not a carpenter. That was the first time I heard the word carpenter. All right. At 16 years old, she asked me, What are you doing? I said, Well, I want to be a mechanic, Mom. No, you will not hurt your hands. By being so difficult and tyrannical and a dictator, I have not, I, you have suffered the consequences. You understand? I don't have a job. I don't keep a job. I don't have anybody calling me to help them out with anything because I don't have skilled hands. Whatever. So. You don't have to have skilled hands. Otherwise, how would we learn? How would we have a first job if we don't have skilled hands? How would anybody have a job if we didn't have, if, if we all started without skilled hands? We can learn at whatever age we want. Fine. We don't all start with skilled hands. You start with nothing. Fine. Then go with me to learn to fix that drawer for your mother's uh, clothing with that old I man. I don't believe in drawers. I believe in closets. Are you going to go with me? No. I see. I don't believe in drawers. Why not? Why don't you want to go with me? Because I don't want drawers. Now, what did you learn about Obey your parents. It didn't say obey your parents. What does the word honor mean? It means to respect them. But that doesn't mean we have to do exactly what you want. All right, well, when I was brought up, I was wrong. I obeyed my mother and I did not learn mechanics or carpentry. Well, you could if you wanted to. So that's why I will go Dude. with that drawer to learn from the old Dude. man. You've been saying this? You've been saying you were going to bring the drawer since like three months ago. Did you want to go on the first day of school? No. Did you want to go on the second day? What do you mean? This first week of school, did you want to go fix that drawer? No. All right then. Well, why didn't you ask me three months ago while well, we were in school? That drawer has been on the floor over there. For three months. Well. You keep saying you're going to do something about it, but you don't. That's why you didn't become a mechanic. I will That's not go without you. That's why you didn't become you. a carpenter. Because you can't do anything by yourself. I will not you go choose without not you. You not to. I will not go without you. No. That man does not want to teach me. You understand? He doesn't want to teach me either. That's because of your bad attitude. I don't have an attitude in front of other people. You have one right here in front of me, don't you? You're not another person. Your bad attitude is going to cost you, dear. What I am trying to give you is wisdom through the Bible and skilled hands. A man. I read a book finally. It was written by a, a man that was born as a slave. Booker T. Washington. He said, 
at this school we teach what? Three things. Tell me. Stop talking about the same things. Learn something else. Not until you learn those three things. What are they? Skilled hands. Yes, carpentry, plumbing, electricity. Doctor. There is no finish line. You could learn forever. However, get the basics done. That was one. I'm take a shower now. Very well, son. So everyone has to go back to the Thank you, son. Bye.